Do you guys really think he likes Phoebe? I mean, Sidhu. <laughs> but he was crying, expressing his feelings, asked her to be his girlfriend, brings her coffee, makes her breakfast. It's like, it's just too much damage control going on here. But I think Jeff hasn't asked Naja to be his girlfriend because he knows Naja is not 100% into him. Because you keep taking him back after he messes with you, after he disappoints you after he disrespects you so why are you playing hard to get at this point just let us know you're a lover girl and you see red flags and you ignore them it's okay a lot of people ignore red flags shoot i do sometimes too like anyway that's a whole other topic hey everyone i'm your host mayoko welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm reviewing love island usa season 4 episode 32 let's get straight into the video so sydney and isaiah are officially a couple officially boyfriend and girlfriend but you guys do you guys think huh i don't know if <laughs> i might sound like a hater but you guys that watch me know where i'm coming from okay just hear me out do you guys think isaiah is doing too much damage control or do you guys really think he likes Phoebe. I mean, Sydney. <laughs> Not Phoebe. <laughs> or do you guys really think he likes Sydney? I don't know, you guys. He was doing a bit too much this episode. He was crying, which is not a problem. You know, we love people who are vulnerable. But he was crying, expressing his feelings, asked her to be his girlfriend, brings her coffee, makes her breakfast. It's like, it's just too much damage control going on here for me. Like, this episode was just filled with Isaiah trying to make up for what he did. And I understand because he obviously feels bad for what he did to Sydney. But uh, it's just a bit too much. I don't know if he really means, I don't know if it's coming from a place of like, I'm sorry, or it's coming from a place of, I got caught. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Do you guys think this is genuine Isaiah or this is damage control Isaiah? Let me know because I think this is damage control Isaiah. But anyway, he's talking to Sydney. He's telling her how he's never felt like this in the past three years. He, she's the one. She, he loves her. He was like, I love you. Sydney's like, oh, I can't tell you I love you just yet. And I'm looking at Sydney like, girl, Sydney, ugh, if you love this boy, just love this boy in peace. Stop trying to act or play hard to get because you've already failed. You've constantly taken back every time he mess, like, you know, he messes you up or does something bad to you. So, like, at this point, who are you fronting for? Just... It's like Sydney's trying to be like, oh, I'm trying to make it hard for him. But you're not making it hard for him because you keep taking him back after he messes with you, after he disappoints you, after he disrespects you. So why are you playing hard to get? At this point, just let us know you're a lover girl and you see red flags and you ignore them. It's okay. A lot of people ignore red flags. Shoot, I do sometimes too. Like Anyway, that's a whole other topic. But yeah, so like Sydney's trying to play hard to get, but it's like, just let it go, Sydney. Let it go. As soon as Isaiah started crying, as soon as like Sydney saw a tear just like dripping down, she's like, why are you crying? I'm like, oh my gosh, Sydney, you see, this is the tactic Isaiah is using for you to feel bad for him. And Sydney was like, give me a hug. You know, she's like, a... and I understand, you know, sometimes for a guy to cry, it takes a lot. Some men are not too emotional. So like sometimes when guys are like, show like their emotional side, it shocks a lot of women because they're like, hold on, he's never cried before. What is going on, you know? So it just makes you like more gullible and I don't know. But anyway, I don't know. Isaiah and Sydney, I don't see it. I don't like it. I don't care for it. I mean, if they're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> and then Sydney's like, Isaiah has one more strike to mess up. And I'm like, Sydney, stop lying to yourself. Even if Isaiah... Isaiah has a million strikes with you. Even as, even if Isaiah messes up right now, you will forgive him and take him back. So stop talking about some, he has one more strike and we're done. Mm, no, you're not going to be done. You're going to forgive him. You're going to get back together. He's going to hurt you again. You're going to forgive him. You're going to get back together. Let me stop. <laughs> you guys, I generally, I don't understand why, especially Zita. I don't know why Zita hasn't told Sydney to back off. But at the same time, I kind of understand because, you know, she probably doesn't want to put her mouth in the relationship because... Uh, hers is going well anyway what are your thoughts on isaiah and sydney i really want to know what you guys think then we have deb and jesse talking and jesse's like do you think what the challenge said was true about jesse not being physically and emotionally attracted to deb and deb was like no i don't think it's true blah 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 blah, blah. i don't know what do you guys think do you guys think jesse's attracted to deb because <laughs> during the i think they were all in the room 
and then deb was like no not deb jesse was like d-e-b as in like deb stands for demanding um what did he say demanding energetic biscuit and then mackenzie was like does b not stand for beautiful <laughs> <laughs> and then Jesse was like, oh yeah, yeah, beautiful. So I don't know, is that kind of a way of saying he's not attracted to her or, cause where did biscuit come from? But honestly, I think he was trying to say the word, you know, the B word, the B-I-T-C-H word, but he changed it to biscuit. But it's funny how he didn't even think of beautiful when Mackenzie was like, not beautiful. <laughs> anyway, Mackenzie is a troublemaker. Her birthday was this episode. They were like, she turned 21. Mackenzie didn't turn no damn 21. How, how old is Mackenzie, you guys? Mackenzie did not turn 21. Talk about some. Mackenzie turned 21 this year, and she turned 21 last year as well. <laughs> that narrator is petty. Then we have Naja saying she's attached to Jeff. Um, she's saying she's really catching feelings for him. Jeff is like, you know, I've been had feelings for you. I really like you. You're the one. But my thing is like, so then why hasn't Jeff asked Naja to be his girlfriend? Because Jeff has been saying it from the jump, like, Naja's the one, she's the one, he wants her, that's wifey, da, da, da. I want to take her to meet my mom, da, 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 da. but then you haven't asked her to be your girlfriend. But I think Jeff hasn't asked Naja to be his girlfriend because he knows Naja is not 100% into him. That's what I think. But do I think Naja's feelings are growing for Jeff? Absolutely. I think Naja is definitely catching more feelings for Jeff because she was like, so after this is over, are you just, just going to go back to your, I don't know where, where is Jeff from? She was like, are you just going to go back to your estate? And Jeff was like, yeah. And she was like, yeah, you know, after being like together for so long, it's going to be hard to be apart from you. So I think she's catching feelings. The fact that Jeff hasn't asked her to be his girlfriend is a little bit weird to me because it's like, if everything is going so perfect, then what are y'all waiting for? Then they have a cock challenge where they have to like mount what they think their partner's cock looks like. <laughs> cock, saying the word cock sounds so weird. But I think that's all I have to say so my video doesn't get demonetized or something like that. They, the couples have to like, you know, describe or like, not, what's the mold? They have to mold like a cock. Da, da, da. Anyway, I don't even know. That challenge was very weird to me. But the only thing I have to say about that challenge is Jeff knew what the hell was going on. Let me say something. Jeff gives off big energy, okay? He gives off big insert beep energy. I can't say the word. I don't think I can say the word on my channel. But yeah, okay? He gives off that big energy if you know you know and lo and behold him and nausea mount the same thing like they sculpt the same cock size girth everything and i'm like yeah jeff is literally the only one that gives what it gives okay anyway let me move on. and then tomorrow somebody gets dumped i'm trying to think who might get dumped tomorrow i think Mackenzie and joel is his name joel i haven't is his name joel what is his name you guys now I think his name is Joel. If it's not, I'm so sorry. Whoever Mackenzie is partnered up with, I'm pretty sure it's Joel. But whoever she's partnered up with, I think they might go home. But at the same time, it's kind of like, hmm, will they send Mackenzie home though? Because she just came. And she hasn't really explored. I think it's going to be kind of pointless if Mackenzie goes home. Like, what was the reason of bringing Mackenzie back if she's just going to leave like that? So I don't think it would be Mackenzie. But then if it's not Mackenzie and who she's parted up with, I'm thinking it might be... Actually, what am I saying? Mackenzie's parted up with Chad. No. Ooh, Phoebe. <gasps> Phoebe's going home. Oh, I hope Phoebe goes home. Ooh, I hope Phoebe goes home. I hope Phoebe goes home. How was I thinking Mackenzie was parted up with, with the other guy? Mackenzie's parted up with Chad. Phoebe's parted up with Joe. They're going home. Yep, absolutely. I hope they go home. Ooh, yes. Y'all, I think Phoebe's going home. Something about Phoebe... I don't like, okay? Even when Isaiah asked um, Sydney to be his girlfriend, she was like, yay, but I know deep down she's evil. She gives off evil vibes. Phoebe gives off evil vibes. So I don't like her, okay? She might be sweet. Maybe the camera is making, not the camera, maybe the producers are making her look like a mean person, but that's what I get from her. That's the energy I get from Phoebe. And then anyway, a few years ago, I couldn't make a video, but what I also wanted to talk about this whole topic of beauty standards and everything like this whole natural beauty versus you've done a bbl or a boob lift or boob augmentation or you got your rhinoplasty or you got fillers you got this botox let people do what they want to do okay and if somebody is not beautiful to you they're beautiful to somebody else like whatever like let everybody do what they want to do 
let everybody use their money to do what they want to do beauty is such a broad topic like what are the standards of beauty there, who makes up those standards and why do we have to respect them anyway that's all i have to do for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you're new here welcome if you're not thank you so much for coming back i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video